Welcome to the Data360 Analyze Directory List Node video. The Directory List Node scans a specified directory and outputs a list of files that meet the specified criteria. By default, the Directory List Node will scan the directory that is specified, but settings can be changed so it also scans subdirectories. This node is often used in conjunction with a second input connector node that will input the data from the files listed by the Directory List Node. Using the directory list node in conjunction with a file reader node, you can import data from multiple files by using two nodes rather than a single node for each file. Using it in conjunction with a loop node to pull the directory and then perform some action when a file has landed in the folder. In this example, we have four files with a similar naming pattern, account payments dash 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. I am going to show you how to use a directory list node to list these four files by specifying the directory path and file name pattern. Locate the directory list node and bring it onto your canvas. In the properties panel, we can see that there are two properties that require a value. The first one is the directory name. This is the folder path that contains the files that you would like to acquire. Navigating to the folder where the four files are located, I will copy the directory path and paste it into the directory name property in Data360 Analyze. Next, I need to specify a file pattern that Data360 Analyze will use to retrieve the files. We can see that the four files all begin with account payments hyphen zero, and then each file has a different number. As this is the only character that changes and it is only one character, we will use the question mark character, which is a wildcard sign. If we wanted to accommodate for multiple characters, we can use the star character. Ensure you also enter the file type. In this case, the files are comma separated values files, so we will enter .csv. Rename the node and then run the node. When we click on the output pin, we see the following information in the data viewer. The file name field, which provides the full file path of each file acquired, file which provides the file name, size which is the size of the files, creation date of the file and the date the file was last modified. And that is how you use the directory list node to output a list of files in a specified folder. Now if you would like to learn how to import the data from these files please keep on watching. If you would like to import the data from the files listed you will need to connect another input connector node to the directory list node. In the previous example, we were dealing with CSV files, so we will bring in a CSV delimited file node onto the canvas and join it to the directory list node. In the properties panel under the input section, click on the drop down arrow. You will be presented with three options. Select the second option, data from file name field. This option will read in the file path and name from an input field. If we take a look at the incoming field names again, we can see that there is a field called file name that contains the full file path of the files we would like to acquire. Select the hamburger menu, input fields, in one, and then the field name that contains the file path. In this example, it is file name. Rename the node and then run the node. We can see that 9,395 records have been imported from the four files. If we scroll all the way to the right in the data viewer, we can see which file each record comes from. For more information and help on the directory list node, click on the directory list hyperlink in the properties panel to take you directly to the help page.